I'm going to share with you an awesome indie hacker's journey so far. They've done $63,000 in revenue in just 60 days, which is an astounding number. And I think it's going to be an amazing story that you're going to get a lot of value out of. Whether you're at the beginning of your indie hacker journey or you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, I think you'll really enjoy this here. So the product we're taking a look at today is called ShipFast and it helps you ship your startup in days, not weeks. So it's a next.js boilerplate and it has all you need to build your SaaS an AI tool or any other web app from idea to production in just five minutes. So you can clone this here so you can get authentication with Google login, a magic link, DNS records for email, Tailwind components, MongoDB super base. You get a Stripe webhook and checkout. And if you to take a look at how long it's going to take to set this up, it's four hours to set up your emails, six plus hours designed for a landing page, four plus hours to handle Stripe, two plus hours for SEO tags, one hour for Google OAuth, and so on. And so that leads you to 22 plus hours of headaches, and there's a much easier way here. So in terms of how this product is priced, there's a starter and an all-in plan at $129 and $149, and it's a pay-once build unlimited products. There's also a special pricing promotion, where it's $100 off for the first 670 customers. So let's dive into the journey here. This story is going to come from Indie Hackers, and I'll leave a link for this in the description below. It was founded by Mark Louisville, in August of 2023. And as we went over, it's a Next.js boilerplate, which helps indie hackers launch their own SaaS, AI, or other web apps much faster. So it's essentially a template of codes that saves developers 20 plus hours on setting up key functions like authentication, payments, a landing page, and more. And since its launch, it's generated an impressive $63,000 in revenue. So in terms of the business model, it's a pay once, use forever model. And as we went over, there are two packages available. And since the solution is essentially a digital product, there are no other high incurring fixed costs. So there are super high profit margins. It also makes sense here why he can do a lifetime deal as he doesn't have to pay every month to maintain servers or anything like that where people are going to be using a SaaS product. In terms of growth, there were three main marketing strategies and that was Product Hunt, Twitter, and Reddit. So the first initial users came from Product Hunt in order to validate the idea. And to his surprise, he was able to generate $1,000 in sales in just his first seven hours of launching. And after 48 hours, he was able to make $6,000 in profit and he was voted the second product of the day with 941 upvotes. So we can see 1,300 visitors, $1,000 in sales, and they included a picture of their Stripe graph. So there were three factors that contributed to the successful product hunt launch and that was product promotion and conversion. So firstly, Mark developed a product that people actually wanted and it solved a large enough problem. Secondly, actively engaging with other people's products on Product Hunt helped him get support for his launch when the time came. This combined with building anticipation and announcing the launch on his personal Twitter further boosted the votes. And thirdly, replying to all 100 plus comments and creating a fun and yet effective advertising video for his product page allowed the algorithm to work in his favor. And that makes sense with Product Hunt. It is a ranking dashboard. So if you can bump yourself up early in the rankings, early on in that 24 hour period, Period, that's going to get you way more exposure rather than just being buried near the bottom. The second strategy was to use Twitter. So Mark has over 40,000 followers on Twitter and he shared his journey of building his projects openly for everyone to see. This not only built social proof and grew his following from 1,000 followers in July of 2022 and his ship fast post went viral here with 167,000 impressions. Since his Twitter following is mainly indie hackers and his product ship fast helps these indie hackers with their building of projects, it's allowed Twitter to be especially effective at growing his business. Lastly, there was Reddit. We can see his Reddit post here got 103 upvotes and he did this all organically by sharing his startup on relevant subreddits like Side Project, which has 120,000 members. Here he made a post which simply was a video demo of ship past and this post got 100 upvotes as well as 40 comments. And on a subreddit of that size and with so many upvotes, he's bound to have gotten several tens of thousands of users seeing his post and thousands of users checking out his website. And this is the power of organic marketing. 
and it really benefited Shipfast. So let's take a look at some key takeaways to conclude this video here. So focus on building a personal brand for your product. This is what helped Mark jumpstart his success and is a strategy that allows for exponential growth. To give credit where it's due to, this post was written by Diego and I'll leave a link for this in the description below. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your own micro SaaS. There's a link in the description below where you can steal these micro SaaS ideas for free. All you need to do is enter in your email. I also have a course on how to build your own micro SaaS as well even if you don't have any product ideas yet. There's a link for this in the description below too. So this concludes our video here on Shipfast, an amazing indie hacker journey. And to go from zero to over $60,000 in revenue in just 60 days here is an extremely impressive accomplishment, especially as this was done with all organic traffic. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like and subscribe button below. I have tons of new videos coming out on SaaS, indie hacker journeys, and so on and you don't want to miss out. Also, let me know what you think of this product here in this journey. If you have you used it, let me know in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.